Adidas Originals collaborating with NTS Radio. Interesting. NTS, uh, as you guys are aware, is a London-based online radio show that all of the hipsters are a fan of. I don't think I've ever met anyone that's into electronic music or going out culture or club culture or the scene or whatever it may be that doesn't listen to NTS music. I'm probably the only person that doesn't listen to NTS radio. I don't think I've ever listened to a show in my life. Not because of it being bad, because, you know, I don't really listen to shows like that. Um, I might catch the odd mix here and there from people like... um. I listen to stuff on Beats and Space and random... Uh, but nowadays, I have tended to... Um, which m I probably would be susceptible to listening to more NTS Radio because I've been listening to... I use this website called Mixes DM where they have a complete database of low, these mix, loads of mixes from you know, DJs the worldwide that cover the whole span of electronic music. So sometimes you might stumble across some stuff, but I'm not tuning into people's shows and stuff i have a lot of friends that are on there and do their show so um what you call it credit to them and nts has gone from strength to strength um and yeah they're kind of gaining global exposure global recognition um now um it kind of at the beginning it felt a little bit like an add-on of boiler room jeremy you know I mean? they were kind of you know kind of um following in their footsteps but now they've kind of both gone into totally two different to two different positions or lanes for the most part nts is really trying to you know cultivate from the ground up um you know impacting local communities and spreading that music global and you know boiler room is doing sort of like the video representation of that and really making you know their own kind of original programming as well on the back of it but anyway um, nts is kind of you know again global recognition it made sense that they probably collaborated with adidas adidas do a lot of you know they might not do some of the you know more hype beastie collaborations that maybe nike do but what they do do is they do do a lot of like on the ground um ear to the ground connecting with people that are actually moving culture within their scene and collaborating with them and i guess this nts collaboration is no different um again um to celebrate um, happy says the following to celebrate the immeasurable impact of NTS Radio, AS Original is honouring the British institution with a special capsule of soccer inspired garments, tracksuits and accompanying outwear, shorts and t-shirts um, for NTS London Heritage. I wonder why it's soccer. Is it because they're doing a football tournament? The AS Stripe brand swerves around. Oh, okay, I'm not reading all this shit. They're just describing the clothes I'm seeing in my own eyes. NTS Collection launches on AS Original site, stores and through net NTS distribution on May 25th. Below, check out the lookbook and listen to the Maggie Nichols and Peter New free jazz LP that inspired the NTS Radio Donuts U tagline, as well as the scope of the DJ schedule to commemorate the collection. So why are they doing this collection? Is it because um, NTS is dope? Is it because of football? I wonder what it is. Are they doing a football tournament or something? Because they always do these, these little football tournaments, right? Where they get all the big brands and promoters and brands and stuff from London to go and play five-side football and shit. I'm not sure what it's about, but I like the clothes anyway, regardless. That that top, that hoodie top is really nice. Um, they've got a nice little track jacket here with the NTS. And I, I like that, actually. That little placement just there on the logo, on the on the collar. On one side, you've got the, the Clover AS logo. On the other side, you've got the NTS um, classic logo, white on black. I'm not just I'm not a fan of the back personally. I would probably take that off if I could probably take that back patch off. But again, it's nothing to really squirm about. Oh, this long sleeve top, this long sleeve football top looks really nice. Very much 90s inspired, uh polygonish print on the front with some stripes on the side, black and grey with a nice I like that hello actually, into this radio.com uh, dot live, sorry. A nice another another nice football jersey here again. What is there on the inside? Peppers and spice. I wonder if that's the is that at the restaurant next door to it? Because NTS Radio is on um, what's that square called? Um, the square where it's hosted, wherever it's in Dawson, and there's a little Caribbean restaurant on the corner of it too, right? That does um, barbecue outside of a massive grill drum. I wonder if that is the shop that they're referencing. Peppers and spice. Maybe they will get their lunch from there. Um, again, nice little top. The tracksuit pants. Oh, they look cool. Wear that with a tracksuit. That look fucking awesome. I'm actually a fan of that. I'd actually wear that. It's a bit, again, I, I would feel, because Boiler Room make a lot of really good merch too, right? But I'd always feel a bit cringe wearing Boiler Room merch. Like, if you don't work there and you haven't DJed there, it just feels a bit, Nyeh. do you know what I mean? It's like people that wear um, X, that XL Radio bomber jacket. I mean, XL Recordings bomber jacket. It's like, I remember seeing a girl wearing it for the first time, I think a few years ago, just before, I think just before they were about to re-release it. And I thought that looked amazing. She looked cool in it and she happened to intern there. So that made the story a little bit better. And it was a vintage jacket that her boss gave her to wear because I think they were looking to bring it back into bring it back into market. And I guess she was a cool person. So, you know, he went to kind of test the waters with it. But just buying an XL Recordings jacket is a bit strange, no? Well, don't you think? It's like, no, no one would wear an Atlantic Records. I guess it's different because Atlantic that probably doesn't have the 
the cultural relevancy that maybe XL does, but I don't know. I feel a bit strange wearing a NTS Boiler Room or XL Recordings merch if I didn't have anything to do with the place. I didn't have a recording on there. I didn't collaborate with anyone. I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but I I would wear this tracksuit. That that being said, I would wear the tracksuit. Again, the tracksuit looks fucking awesome. I've been found the shorts. And yeah, it looks pretty cool. I'd probably wear the football gear too, you know, because I'm just, I've never really been the biggest fan of wearing, um, you know, actual replica jerseys from teams and playing football in it, you know, like sort of like adult pretend play. It kind of reminds you of those, you know, those dudes that ride their bicycles on the weekend and wear the entire gear, right? It's a bit fork it wankerish. Um, I'd much rather just wear like a, a plain Nike top and shorts. Football obviously inspired, but not like a team thing. It's like, well, why am I pretending? I'm pretending I play for United or something. I don't, obviously. That's why I'm playing in this five-side football pitch in the middle of Shoreditch. Um, I probably prefer to wear this sort of stuff to actually play football in. At least it's got something about it, and it's a bit different than the actual football gear. But yeah, check that out. It's going to come out when? May 25th, they said, right? On In all, I'm assuming most of the, you know, Adidas, um, and that's Lee Scratch Perry there, um, uh, what you call it, modeling some of it. Oh, some pictures here of Lee Scratch Perry wearing it. Let's check him out too. What's it, what trains has he got on there? They let, they let Lee Scratch Perry wear some Timberlands with, with this, of course, in it. They can't really tell him what to wear, I guess, shoes wise, but it's Lowe's. I'm wearing a pair of Timberlands with this whole collection. I'm not sure who this young lady is on the bed or in the bathroom. Uh, again, oh, so some more pictures of some people and just wearing it. That top looks really nice, doesn't it, right? Sat on the bed there too. That's really nice. Oh, there's James there wearing the top two. That's really nice too. I like that. I like this. Yeah, that that jersey looks really nice actually. Some good lookbook pictures of it. Um, yeah, that tracksuit is fucking banging. That's probably the best piece in there. And it got some socks as well. Ooh, that jacket looks so good, doesn't it? That jacket looks amazing. I'm a big fan of it. Get in there, that jacket. But yeah, check it out. May twentieth coming out very very soon at retailers near.